Hello, this is a 2012 Sandpiper SAQ 365. This is a rather <clears throat> lengthy RV um, that still smells brand new on the inside. Has uh, the black cap on it. As you can see, it has a, a leveler there and a gooseneck hitch on the front of it. Um, inside that front compartment there is a 5500 watt Onan generator. Um, all of the slide outs have the slide tops on them that roll out and roll back in. Uh, it's got dual propane tanks on it, so you can see inside here that I actually upgraded those and put in a couple of 40 pound propane tanks. This is all of your storage back here for all your connections. So you have a water filter, um, you have a black and a gray connection, obviously an outside shower, a freshwater tank, city water fill, you've got your black tanks, and then you've got all your cable and satellite hookups inside there. Um, there is a light and some additional storage there. You'll see in a second how that's passed through and it goes all the way through. Um, there's your water heater outside, and then again you have two more slide outs um, down below there. Underneath the coach is one of the black and gray water drains. Uh, if you go over to this side and, and end up looking in between the RV uh, down there at the bottom, there's another, uh, that black thing is, is your other sewer outlet, your sewer connection, your wastewater holding tanks. Um, so there's, a, there's two separate black tanks in there and two separate gray tanks. Um, around back here again, you see the, the slide toppers on each one of those. As you look around to the back side, um, you can see that we have the Dish Network tailgater mounted to the top of the stairs, which is an auto find satellite. There is a gas grill with an LP connection that's actually on the back of it as well. And then on the side over here, right out here, is your outdoor kitchen. And so in the outdoor kitchen, you have a microwave, you have drawers for storage, there's an outlet out here, um, there's three overhead. Uh, counters or three overhead cabinets with storage in it. You also have LED lighting um, that you can see that lights up and, and looks really pretty at night. And then of course um, a refrigerator with some ice cold waters in it right now. Uh, it does um, give you a tank monitor out here on the outside so you can actually press pressure gray water here and tell how full it is. Um, right now it's empty. There's of course a sink out here um, as well as um, a cutting board that comes with the sink. This entire unit slides in. This is a two-door, two-entry uh, RV. Back here you have um, your, there's a separate set of stairs down here, and you have, uh, this is your half bath back in the back. Um, over here, that's your kitchen window. There's outside speakers, power outlets down here, and then the back of your refrigerator. And of course a powered awning um, that will open up as well. In addition to all of that, you have um, the second LP tank over here. And I'll go ahead and open that up and show that to you. So there's your, your second um, 40 pound LP tank. So, in here we have um, a couple of slam latches and this is a TV that's mounted. So around here you can see the, uh, of course the Dish Network satellite is extended down here. It's set up with uh, some HDMI connections over here, um, a cable outlet down here and some power outlets. Um, this is all on some custom mounted hardware, this piece right here. Um, sits in front of the TV when you when you collapse it so it's not permanent there but um, the arm mounts there and then of course you can see that it has like complete pass-through storage there's a, a rhino kit but like a huge cavity to store things in um, again the TV collapses right back in so that when you shut it or if there's some kind of weather you just shut the lid and and close it off. This is definitely something that was not part of the original package when we bought it. 
it was one thing that we added. So let's go ahead and go on in the coach here. There's the steps. Um, as you look, as soon as you enter, you can see the power panel there on the right hand side, but right in front of you, you have all of your controls for your porch lights, kitchens, your outside scare lights, then your water heaters, um, your black tanks, and to tell you your levels. Of course, all your slide outs can be controlled from right there. And in addition, um, we have um, amp meters that were installed there that will tell you how many amps you're drawing. Right now, you can see that we're drawing 14.9 amps um, because the top air conditioner is on. There's really no amps coming on the left side. Those are split up um, for the generator when you run it. Right there, you can see the vacuum, the whole house vacuum cleaning system. And then we'll look here on the wall, um, just as you enter, I'll take you up to, um, there's your, your generator control panel. So if you wanna start it, you actually prime it right here until the light comes on, hold down the start button until it starts. You can start it up on propane, and then it stops tick, starts ticking. Go ahead and turn that off. Um, after a minute, the transfer switch will kick in and draw your power from the generator instead of shore power. We're on shore power right now. Um, so here's this TV in here and then the Dish Network box that controls it. Right below it's an HDMI distributor that sends the HDMI signal to the other TVs in the coach. And then below that you have a DVD player, CD player, um, radio that plays inside and I think in the master bedroom and then on the outside. There's tons of storage in here, um, cabinets in the center, the right, um, decorative things that you can do with these things. If you look over here, you've got more storage cabinets there, um, plenty of light. This is a fold-out sofa that actually flips out and has a powered air mattress that will um, fill up and you can sleep some extra people on it. And over here you have the dinette that you can see. Um, the lights above that, some of these lights have been switched out to LED lights. And if you look over here towards the kitchen, you can see um, the sink with the, the bronze and the sprayer. Actually, this is a, a spray head that comes out and allows you to spray. Um, there are granite tops that you can slide over and slide down to cover the sink up so that you can use that as extra counter space. You have the stove um, and an oven. There's a second microwave in here in addition to the microwave outside. Um, more storage space in here. You have this center cabinet here with just tons of, of room all the way back to the back. Um, you have your refrigerator over here and freezer combo with storage up above it. There's also a ceiling fan in here. I mean your air conditioner um, inside the refrigerator. It actually has brand new coil in it in the back of it and heating element in it as well. Um, your freezer, you can see that that is keeping things nice and cold. I think that says um, about 40 degrees in there. If you look on the, the freezer one, you're gonna see that it, it's down at, I believe, 10 degrees there. So it's pretty chilly there. They're uh, wound all the way down right now. Over here you have your air conditioner controls and also your fan control. Uh, of course, the AC works great in here and it's vented throughout the coach. Um, this is another TV for the rear bedroom. There's rear cabinets back here um, with tons of storage for clothes and hanging clothes. You have a shelf, hang your clothes there. You have more storage up above. Um, there's actually two of these cabinets, one on each side. Um, and then back here, there are effectively four beds. There's that bed, um, that bed. And then if you look back over, there's drawers there for storage too. You have a lower bed over here and an upper bed over there. And then down at the very bottom, there's also a fifth mattress that you could pull out to the middle if you wanted. There's a mirror here. Um, here's a look into uh, the half bath in the back of the coach. You can see it here, um, toilet for the folks in the rear. Um, and then the sink and, and the mirror again with more cabinet storage here. Um, back, that is a 5,500 watt generator uh, that you saw there and will power you know both the air conditioners and um, all the appliances and everything that's in here this thing is just great for tailgating uh, the generator has 500 hours on it now the oil has been changed regularly you have windows as you go up here um, this is the master bedroom again another tv 
up here they're all 42 inch TVs um, the ones that were added it only came with the one TV in the center um, this is the bed in the back the bed does lift up for some under bed storage um, I'm running the air conditioner up here it's nice and cool we go ahead and turn that off back here you'll also see more hanging storage and an added washer and dryer so the washer and dryer is not even a year or two old um, again another expensive addition to to add to the coach there's more lights in here we'll go ahead and flip those on you can see um, what the washer and dryer looks like there's your washer and dryer um, and it is currently winterized um, again more of the bedroom there is a sliding door and then um, in addition to all of those there are drawers down below the TV so there's six drawers down here um, so let's go into the bathroom there's your sink and the uh, sink storage below there's a mirror up there and the shower that we have over here you can see the the shower the shower head um, glass door that, that opens up on it and of course uh, the toilet in here and then more hooks and storage up in this area of the coach as well um, there are carbon monoxide detectors smoke detectors LP detectors all throughout the coach um, the coach has upgrades like you wouldn't believe if you look um, you can look at this remote right here that's plugged in um, the remote will control an outside light you've got front uh, landing gear that is hydraulic you've of course got the main slides um, so you can make the slides go in and out this will also control your rear stabilizers in addition it will control your awning so for example if we were to press the button and come on out while we're doing it you can actually see you can actually see the uh, awning rolling out as we hold the button on the remote we let it go and then the motor stops working there stops running when it comes all the way out uh, the same goes for all the hydraulics and everything if you wanted to um, go back to let's say the front landing gear if you wanted the coach to go up or down you could press those buttons and it would drop or raise based on what you were pressing um, and then one last part that I thought I would show you is the uh, generator that's in the front Just a second to get, in. get this open um, so go ahead and open up the cabinet uh, the generator has been completely soundproofed in a storage box it is an Onan 5500 in addition so you can store stuff on top of it in addition you can also see the hydraulics over here the battery in here is brand new um, and there's a spare tire down below so you can if you pull this this out um, you can actually take a take a look behind and see so there's your Cummins Onan RV 5500 uh, LP generator so that it's tied into um, the propane tank system on the coach so that you don't have to uh, worry about a separate fuel source as you're working on your tailgating um, so you can see how the amps drop down to 2.9 since I turned the air conditioner off up in the front end of the coach so we have the the Corian countertops um, convenience packages exterior kitchens um, the second air conditioner in the bedroom uh, the, the all the uh, extras that you have um, this thing when it originally stickered back in 2013 was 46,000 that is without all the additions that's without the extra satellite TV um, the dish the two $350 dish tailgater the dish receiver um, the three TVs that were added to it the $6,000 Onan generator that was added to it the $1,500 washer and dryer that was added to it all the um, amp meters and upgrades that you see throughout the coach have really added to its value and made it just a wonderful camping and RV uh, tailgating solution for all your needs so this uh, once again 2012 Sam Piper SEQ 365 if you have questions or would like to see anything else 
please let me know. I may not have covered everything, all of the storage um, that's in, in throughout the coach, because I think there's plenty of things um, in here that, that may not have been covered. But at any rate, give me a call or text me, 678-551-2639. My name is Andy Wofford, 678-551-2639. Thanks.